Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to another video. Now today we are finally getting to work on this bad boy right here. Now I want to show y'all something real quick. If you know anything about vehicles in general, you'll know what this means. <laughs> Luckily on the dipstick it looked completely fine but I am leaking antifreeze from either the head gasket or the freeze plug or something. But we think since it rained, something to do with the rain pouring down and the antifreeze actually changed the color of it which is really weird. When you take the dipstick out it looked completely fine so we're good on that thankfully. But today we're going to be changing the upper ball joint on this tire right here. You can see it very well, but that guy right there. And I wanted to film it slash give y'all a tutorial on how to do it. If you watched like the last, not the last video, but the video before that, you would be able to see me shaking the crap out of this tire and seeing it wobble like this, which is probably a reason why my steering is so crap right now. So hopefully we change this, put a little bit of positive camber on the tires. A lot of people are saying that you can't do it by just looking at it, but in my opinion, if you can look at it and it's straight up and down and it ain't pulling, there's no tire wear, it doesn't matter. And also, a lot of people are telling me just take it to a professional alignment shop. Well, they can't even do it. Like nobody around here knows how to do this. So we're stuck to doing it ourselves, which sucks, but you learn more stuff pretty much every day about it. But enough of the talking and more of the doing. Gotta get this little light right here because y'all could probably barely see what we were doing taking the little castle nut off or making it loose knock this ball joint loose we're gonna take this tie rod end off and we're just gonna take this whole assembly off so we can press this ball joint out really easily hopefully <laughs> camera caster pushing out and this guy should come off. Okay, I have a second to explain y'all what we did. So it was really hard getting the spindle off of there. Um, it was probably a mixture of we didn't have the right tools and I guess we just really haven't done it before. But we had to hit it out. I mean, as you see, there's hammers and everything everywhere. So basically, you want to try to get this thing out. However you know how to do it, get it out. It'll make it a lot easier. Literally, after you get it out, go rent one of these little ball joint press things. But this is definitely something you need to know. With this tool right here, literally, you can't just do one ball joint. So I recommend buying the top and bottom ball joint whenever you do this because if you don't, well, you're going to end up going to the store and having to buy the top one anyways or the bottom, whichever one was broke but the assortment we used was this one right here and where is it? this one right here so like the middle size sleeve and this one right here as you can tell this one just got the bigger hole so now it should be hopefully as easy as not really that easy but putting the new ball joints in putting that back on connecting everything back together and hopefully it will drive better and steer better one eternity later so as you can tell it is dark now and well we're back with no ball joints so we have to wait till tomorrow for the parts to actually arrive which sucks because now i mean this is just going to be sitting here on a freaking jack and a jack stand that's not even actually touching the truck i'll see y'all in the morning the next day After you get the ball joints in, it's pretty straightforward. Just put it back together how you took it apart. But hopefully this helped y'all guys. If you had any questions about it or you have any questions still, drop it down below in the comment. The only thing that was kind of tricky is just trying to figure out how to use the little ball joint press to get the ball joints in. But other than that, pretty simple. Now we have a broken castle nut for the tie rod in. For the tie rods, but it's whatever. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like. If you haven't already, subscribe if you're new. And I will see y'all in the next one. Peace out.